Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to take a look at my Playmobil collection. And I'm really excited to show my Playmobil collection as it was one of my biggest childhood toys. I want to show uh, the details and how I did certain things and why I did certain things. So with no further ado, let's get started. So almost all my Playmobil is... Uh, located here but I have a few little shelves up in the main wall those are mainly my domesticated Playmobil animals a few wildlife and a few prehistoric and fantasy critters most of my Playmobil is located here as you can see it all started with a big diorama at the window and most of the items come from my old house I already had two little shells with a bit of forest, a bit of jungle, and a bit of um, beach and ocean. But I already knew that I wanted to grow my um, diorama to display more species, to display more greenery and stuff like that. Then this African diorama came to be because Playmobil decided to release a few African themed sets for their Wildtopia series and I immediately fell in love with them so I was like I really want to incorporate an African diorama a little corner is dedicated to Australian wildlife as well we have a ranger house from the Wildtopia series and we have a little project project that I just recently started and more about that when we come into that corner so I am a handheld <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, camera now so um, I have no idea how I will be doing but um, just relax and enjoy my uh, uh, Playmobil tour basically <laughs> so we start off with the forest um, so let me start off with saying that the base is made out of wood. It's made by my boyfriend. And on top of the base, I have a bit of foam board. And this foam board has two very handy things. One of the sides of the foam board is sticky, so the paper sticks on the foam board. Secondly, I can puncture or put in flowers plants and mushrooms into the foam board without the need of a bigger greenery uh, piece. So I can put in random flowers and mushrooms throughout the whole diorama to make it look more like a forest. As you can see, my forest is the most crowded area. <laughs> it has the most animals, it has the most species and um, I love forests. I love their diversity. We in the Netherlands have quite the forests ourselves and I adore our wildlife. So I try to incorporate as much of our wildlife as well into this diorama. So um, I have made a few repaints as well. These two little birds are repaints. This cross box is a repaint. And these two adorable little wolf pups are repaints as well. Um, so let me show you the back as well. We have some reindeer, moose. Playmobil hasn't made a female moose, strangely enough. Playmobil has now made th three versions of the male moose. Um, but no female moose. Which kind of saddens me. <laughs> um, so this is my forest. When we go to a bit further. I'm literally crouching right now. <laughs> um, the forest and the jungle area is being separated by a river. I did this on purpose to create a water area. Other than the sea I have. Um to add a few interesting species as well. So here we have some boto, manatees, alligators, caiman, 
few flamingos are using the water as well. Beavers have their dam partially in the water. And when we go to the jungle, we see a lot of animals from the Wautopia series, I must say. Uh, we have the ocelots in the back. We have the anteater. We have the tapirs. We have a red panda. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we have a tiger. And um, a few birds as well. I really hope they continue with the series because I adore it. I really like it. Um, as you can see, um, my jungle area isn't as green, <laughs> as planted, <laughs> as my forest area. I hope to change this in the future, but it's all a big work in progress, basically. I mean, let's be honest, a room like this is always a work in progress. There was always things being added and things being removed and things being shuffled around and stuff like that. It's one of the fun things for... Um, with having a room like this. So then we go to the beach and sea slash ocean. Now this ocean was a lot bigger. But I had to um, offer. <laughs> I had to compromise for the shells. Um, to cut off a few inches. A few centimeters of the sea area. We have some arctic animals over there. But I really don't mind because it's it's good this way. Um, we go to my little project. I not too long ago bought this Victorian house. It's a smaller version. And I added a few items that I already had uh, in my collection. Um, I want this to have a old... Library, study room, museum vibe. Basically a little nuttiness. <laughs> um, so this is the back of the Victorian house. This is already a little um, study that I made. Comfortable chair, a desk, some displays. I have no idea what I want to do with this one. But it looked nice so it's standing there. <laughs> I added my own wallpaper. Because I didn't like the wallpaper it came with. So I took some of my craft paper. Sticked it on the, glued it on the, the already paper it came with. And um, I had a nice template for the new paper as well. So this is a green room with some um, uh, leaf pattern paper. On this side... Are a few cabinets with some uh, items. There's a creepy skeleton. <laughs> um, this room is empty. I still need to look into Playmobil's furniture section. Because the old Victorian sets and the newer Western sets have quite the furniture pieces I want to add to this house but um, I still need to order them so this is a big work in progress but I really like it this is one of my favorite <laughs> favorite little areas it's just an outdoor garden thing and um, it looks really nice so this is my little project stargazer on top it's fun to work on. Um, next we are going to my African diorama. This is a work in progress also. Um, we have a little predator scavenger area. Uh, some tortoises. Giraffes. And other animals. One of the things I did... Which I'm pretty proud of, if I say so myself. Are these jumping... Jumping gazelles. Jumping... Spring box. Um, I, my boyfriend drilled a hole in the belly. Placed a rod in. And... Um, now they're jumping. So it's a little bit of movement into the diorama. And I really like it. 
big elephant, ostrich with their eggs. <laughs> uh, we have a little uh, Australian area and um, you see a lonely grey chick. Um, this is a little pond for a black swan. Black swan is done. It's a repaint. Uh, but it still needs a layer of um, varnish, basically. So this is my African diorama. Insert African music here. Oh no. My dog is barking. <laughs> um, we have a very, very beautiful guard dog, but sometimes he's just barking because of nothing. So... <laughs> Um, last but not least for this little area is my um, ranger ranger station. Um, I added a few items myself, like the tables and combined a few sets. So this is basically a little research area, feeding station, research area. Vet office, animal care, an enclosure that's empty, and an enclosure that has two red pandas. Um, yeah, so <laughs> this is a ranger house. And we're going to walk. I have still enough room to walk around it. And... Um, as you can see, this is the front of the Victorian house. It's very beautiful. So, these are my little Playmobil shells I did in my main wall. And as you can see, here are the small um, domesticated animals like rabbits, guinea pigs, and hamster, cats, dogs, poultry, like... Um, Doves and chickens and goose, geese. <laughs> we have some cows, pigs, sheep, goats, llamas. We have some horses, of course, ponies, donkeys, horses in different breeds. My favorites are the heavy horses in the back. These falls. And then we have a little various shelf with some prehistoric life. Mammoths, Triceratops, baby, Smilodon. These weird things, I have no idea. <laughs> I should basically know what they are. They're flying like reptile thingies, but <laughs> I don't know the name. Um, and some fantasy creatures because Playmobil... It's also very known for their fantasy creatures and I just adore this beautiful white stag with his golden antlers. A snow husky, literally. Uh, fire horses, the two versions. Wolf with black, uh, red eyes, not black eyes, red eyes. And a very rare white circus elephant. So, yeah. These are... My domesticated shells. Um, the reason they are here and not on the carpet is because room, space. <laughs> For me to incorporate this in a diorama type setting, I need basically a second one of this. And I do not have the room for that. I want to use my carpet to sit on and to work on both dioramas and the house. And um, I just basically don't have the room to display these in a diorama setting but i try to make these shelves as diorama ish as possible by adding some items but um yeah um you probably think where did you get all this well most of these items are second hand um the netherlands has a nice variable uh, websites that sell Playmobil 
uh, second hand. So a lot of these items, foliage, greenery, rocks, um, the whole like water area is second hand. Uh, secondly, the parts department. I know that not every country has a parts department from Playmobil. But if you do, you can enter in the item uh, number and you can order that item if it is in stock loosely or loose from uh, Playmobil itself. So the parts department. And um, from sets themselves, just buying a complete set using most or all of the items and um, yeah. So I think I have not shown that one. There's still one little thing I want to show. So this is my sperm wheel that doesn't fit on the C area. But I also have a lot of Playmobil dolls. They are called clickies. Don't mind the box, by the way. It was gifted to me. <laughs> I'm not that fancy. <laughs> um, so these are all the clickies that I have that I find interesting. Um, most of them are from the Wildopia series, of course. I really adore their um, style. A few that I find aesthetically pleasing, like this, this um, forest thing. Um... A few of the mystery blind bags that I found very interesting, like this um, ocean type woman dress. As you can see, I have quite the clickies and I just keep them because I like them. So <laughs> this box was gifted to me. I'm not, uh, <laughs> I'm not that fancy at all. So basically, that's it. Um, that's my Playmobil collection and um, I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section and um, I hope you enjoyed it and if you like more of these kind of videos, hit the subscription button. <laughs> Hit like and uh, all that kind of stuff. I'm so bad in promoting my own page. <laughs> I should be, but <laughs> I'm so bad at it. If people like it and people like it and if they want to follow me, that's awesome. That's great. But um, I'm, I'm just doing this for fun. Um, so, yeah. I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.